I'm here today with Stephanie Mukes. How are you doing, Stephanie? I'm doing well. Awesome to hear. And today I think you're going to tell us all a bit about the origins and uh, philosophy behind our deepening practice. Yeah, um, I've come, I've been a dancer all of my life from the time I was a young girl and just felt like that was a huge part of my creative um, life force energy expression. And later in my life, I wanted to return to dance and wanted to return with more, more depth um, rather than just from a per performative perspective. And so about eight years ago, I discovered multiple modalities, one being body tales, authentic movement, contact improvisation, access syllabus. I sort of dove into this broad exploration of movement as a spiritual practice or as a personal growth and transformation practice. And I felt like I was hugely informed by those foundational practices, which also included soul motion, five rhythms, and now open floor. There are these, there are these really beautiful platforms um, of exploration that I felt like gave me a sense of, um, some maps, essentially, of how to navigate movement as a personal growth and transformation process. And when I moved to Santa Cruz about three years ago, I was so touched by the amount of dance that this community is engaging in, um, with at least one, maybe two dances a week. And I would enter into these dance spaces and was so grateful for them. And I was getting this sense that um, there was a way that we could all go deeper. And part of my curiosity was around what is it that makes a really yummy and satisfying dance for me? And so I was leaning on some of the teaching that I had been gathering over the many years and, and then connecting with other people on the dance floor who seemed to have a similar, were working on, with similar maps or practices. And so some of us actually got together off the dance floor and started to talk about, well, what is it that makes a really delicious dance? And what makes this process um, safe for us emotionally and physically? And just got interested and essentially was geeking out on what, what, what makes a yummy dance. And so out of that came the Women's Movement Medicine Collective, um, a, a group of, small group of women who were interested in literally just focusing our practice, doing a smaller group practice and discovering what allowed us to go deep into the body, into the body wisdom um, when we put our bodies in motion together. And then out of that came another offering, the Open Circle, which takes place on Thursday mornings. And we've been doing that for two years and it's really a rich practice space where we explore somatic practices and um, co-create ritual space for us to explore what it means to be human, what it means in that case, in context, what it means to be woman. And we felt like it was time and we were desirous of doing these kinds of practice, intentional practices and explorations in the mixed gender context. And hence, the Deepening Practice series was born um, in a twofold manner. One is from our own personal desire to practice this in this way with the larger community and two to offer some of that which we've been distilling in terms of practices um, and offer them out to the community and see if it was of service. That's that's so so fascinating. Uh, you talked about the concept of maps. Can you explain that a little more? Yeah so for me, when we come into a dance space, we are, one, working with what is exactly in the room, but also there's this rich opportunity to learn about ourselves in an embodied way that then generalizes out into our life, into our um, regular lives. And there are several layers that we're working with. One, the physical and, and the body-based or somatic awareness. And then two, the psychological emotional layer. And three, potentially the spiritual layer. And so 
from a very simplistic standpoint, that in and of itself, naming those three layers is a map. And in each of those, there are practices or ways that we can, we can shift our attention and our awareness to deepen our experience. So for example, if I'm working on a somatic or body-based awareness level, I might be attending primarily to what my temperature is doing, what my experience of movement is, what my experience of pressure and my relationship with my environment is, the actual physicality of the experience. And that can be an entire um, world of exploration in, in an open dance space or in a, in a directed dance space. And largely all of these embodiment and somatic practices are designed to support us to come more deeply in the present moment. Okay. Landed here in the body. Okay. And there are similar maps that can be um, explored in the field of the psychological realm and then also the spiritual realm or spiritual opening. Awesome. And you've already had a few sessions so far, right? Yes, we've, um, we're completing our first five week series this Thursday and it's been really delicious to drop in with community members. We've had a nice solid core group of folks who are coming and practicing and we're getting a chance to dive into and dissect and, and lab together um, some of these somatic practices and then also share as a community a little bit more about what's going on. Yeah. And that feels like it's so delicious. We, many of us dance for years and years and we actually don't know one another's names and we don't get to actually share in, in depth about what's occurring for us. And so we've been discovering in the last five weeks that um, this container allows for both a, a deepening understanding, um, a space to really examine what, what's going on in these practices, and then also share and get to know each other and develop intimacy and connection as a community. That's good. It's really good. What, what would you say is in store for the next five-week session? Yeah, so starting next Wednesday, Bryn Flade will be the facilitator for the next five weeks. And um, our intention is to have these as committed series. There's something special that happens when a group of people commits to a sequence or a series of, of practice sessions. And what we discovered this, this past series that we wanted folks to know what we were up to and we were allowing drop-in um, to attend. And so we're still on the fence about whether or not we're going to allow for drop-ins for the next series. Um, and we'll be letting folks know via social media what, what we're imagining. Um, but for those folks who can commit to the five weeks, we'd love to have them um, just to deepen our container. And Bryn will be exploring more of the same um, and her flavor of what, what's interesting and what's exciting and what's on her leading edge of facilitation and personal process. Wow. Wow. How would you suggest someone to approach these sessions if they lacked experience in these somatic practices? Like if they were just completely new out of the gate but wanted to jump in as a beginner, like what, what tips would you give them to join in the right way? So folks who are new to dance or movement practices, this is a, a supportive container for you to just step in with beginner's mind and we will be providing actual skill and direction and facilitation of, of things that you will be doing and exploring in your own body and um, a space for you to feel supported um, and encouraged to discover what is true for you. So um, folks who are new to movement practices are, are welcome and wanted and we believe that your body in motion is actually needed. So please join us. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate this opportunity to connect. Of course.